Meet Tommy Tolan. He's living the high life of a corporate lawyer in the Big Apple. I think that uh, lawyers are traditionally sort of looked at as uh, nerdy, uh, anal, uh, serious. I definitely think that I fit the bill in, in some of those areas, but hopefully, um, hopefully by getting out and doing this, it'll be, a, be an opportunity to sort of express uh, an aggressive side. For the next four weeks, Tommy will learn the ins and outs of professional wrestling from top UPW champions. Will Tommy fool them, or will it be case closed? We're going to start outside with some conditioning. All right, let's go to the mat. We're going to squat, and we're going to squat some more. When you can't feel your leg. Oh, GNT. That was a neck breaker. Oh, sorry. Did he change what? Last one. Come on. Don't quit. How you feeling? Okay, that light pole is your opponent. Oh, what you kick that light pole's ass. And I see this crazy guy out here in an orange jumpsuit. He's got my trash can out there bumping it around. He's crazy. Training with a vengeance. Our faker and three up-and-coming pro wrestlers are each pitted against heavyweight champion, the Predator. Three experienced judges have been brought in to rate each wrestler on their technical skills, performance, and character, and to see if they can spot the faker. Rick Drassen, a.k.a. The Equalizer, has won numerous titles, including the Wrestling World Champion, and is a former WWF star. Melissa Anderson, a.k.a. Cheerleader Melissa, is a prolific pro wrestler competing against top champions in Japan, the U.S., and Germany. Straight out of the crib, 10-year-old superfan David Hurt even has his own practice ring and knows every single move in the book. Stashed away in a room nearby, his mentors have to watch on closed circuit TV before bringing on an overhead body slam. Oh. To top things off, the Predator stuns Marine Mike with a leg drop. How was that? Yeah, that was actually good. Yeah. Next up is Andrew Hellman, one of UPW's top fighters. With over two years wrestling experience, he's scheduled to appear in WWE's prolific dark match. All right, Predator, you flew in from Japan to San Bernardino to wrestle Andrew Hellman. Tonight, you got him, baby. Despite the Predator's size advantage, Andrew Hellman fights back with a head slam into the turnbuckle. As in the previous match, a quick leg drop tops things off to the delight of the audience. A lightweight at only 170 pounds, but his outstanding technical skills have him on the fast track to stardom. Americana kid's not scared. Predators just like Canada. America Junior. I got the power of all 50 states. So Predator, you can kiss my red, white, and blue ass. As in the previous matches, the Predator comes out strong. But don't be fooled by Americana Kid's size. He's fast and technically skilled. As the Predator finishes him up with another gorilla slam. So far, all contenders showed great skills. The pressure is on Psycho T and his mentors. Here we go, boys. Our lead from the South Garland, Texas, who are going to do Psycho Work, I give you Psycho Key! Our final contender is Tommy Toland, who started wrestling only 28 days ago and is normally a lawyer in New York. He's still having trouble with the basic bumps due to his sore back. Predator, I hear you've been talking trash on me. And now I got something I'm going to do to you this Saturday. I'm going to do a couple of things. One, I'm going to rip off your leg. Two, I'm going to rip off your leg. Get that character going. Get the character. Bad guy Psycho T uses an old heel trick to distract the referee. See, no, expo no exposure so far. That was good. That was better than the ring. But how is he faring with the judges? Introduce you to a couple of people I know. My bad. Come on, believe it. Sell, sell that thing, man. Sell it. Man, he did that all wrong. Yeah, he's supposed to grab the legs from the front. He went around by the feet for some reason. Psycho T uses every dirty trick in the book to distract from his lack of technical skills. But his performance and energy is beginning to show some rough spots. As before, the Predator finishes off his opponent with his Gorilla Slam. That was good. How was it? Technical-wise? I was impressed. I was impressed.
Jones, Marine Mike, Andrew Hellman, Americana Kid, and Psycho T. Now it's up to the judges to make their call. You could tell all four guys, you know, worked really hard. And they had good knowledge of what to do in the ring. I think they tried their best to do a good job. It was really fun watching all the matches. I think Andrew was the best. He definitely knew his moves. The character I liked the most was Americana Kid. It made me laugh a couple times. Good energy. Oh. oh that's rough. That one's tough. Psycho T, uh, he was good because his gimmick was funny. Wow. You man, dude. <laughs> Would you be surprised to learn that one of the wrestlers you've seen today isn't really a wrestler at all? Um, one of the four is not a wrestler. What? I got it between two. It's either Mike the Marine or Psycho T. I think the non-wrestler is Mike the Marine. <laughs> That's a tough one. I would say Psycho. <laughs> Psycho was a little slow and he seemed to be being led. It's a hung jury, and now it's up to the final judge. Uh, I don't know, I think. Where's my flag? I'm gonna wave. <laughs> We're in trouble here. I think the faker is Americana kid. Tommy doesn't know yet that he's won the challenge, and it's time for his mentors to break the news. Thank you very much. Nice job. Uh, I guess. They, uh, they like your character. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good. So, bottom line is, you pass the test. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Our New York attorney has shown incredible stamina and proven even lawyers can put up a great fight. That's a long way to come in a short period of time. Yeah, I'm proud of him. He should be a wrestler instead of a lawyer. I'm very, very happy that uh, I was able to pass the test.